I don't know this. You guys know I like my spider movies. So this 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 spider movie is called Itsy Bitsy. Now I, I put up a. I talked about another spider movie. Just I think it was a week ago, and uh, I don't know why I got. I don't like spiders, but I like movies based on spiders. You know, uh, if I see a spider, I try not to kill it. I try to like set it outside. But if it's on me, man, man, well, you might as well just kiss your little ring ring goodbye. But this one's called Itsy Bitsy Spider. Uh, itsy bitsy and i've been wanting to watch it for a while and uh uh you know i i, I told a guy at work uh he said he watched it already because i had told him about the movie that uh that i had watched that was surprisingly good and uh yeah he said he's gonna watch it but he recommended this one to me i said yeah i've been wanting to watch that movie i said but uh i ain't, i i'm surprised how good it is i mean uh, a family moves into a secluded mansion where they soon find themselves being targeted by an entity taking the form of a giant spider. And it's just, that's basically what it is. This woman, she's having issues. Uh, she lost a child in a car accident. She has two little kids she's taking care of. And she's in between jobs. She keeps getting fired. And she's got these two kids she's got to take care of. So she ends up taking this job, this remote area where this guy has to be watched over. He's got all this medication and stuff that he, he just had her stay in the next house over. But anyway, um, his, his life consisted of him going to different remotes of the world and getting these artifacts, but he ended up, uh, getting this, uh, this tribe make sacrifices, to their children and, and, and they, they instill them in this thing. And then, they made this uh, pot, this pottery thing, and put this thing inside. And it, and this guy, this guy took it. And it got bit by it got bit by something. It was a spider. And then it opens up to her. You know, a few years later, and this 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 globe thing. It's like a big pottery thing was in this guy's house. And uh, you know, he had a partner that was with him, and his wife helped. His wife is deceased, the guy that's sick. And so the guy, there's this guy that his wife helped out and he was upset because he really liked this guy's wife because his wife had an impact on his life and he he was upset over something. So them two was feuding and uh, he ends up going in and, and breaking that vase and then uh, out, the, out comes this spider and it was kind of like, Mid size and it bit him, and it's real. It, it, it just it, the, they did a good job with the makeup anyway. But anyway, the thing just runs around loose and stuff. So when she she's there at the same time because she you know she's helping this guy take his medicine and stuff. So that's how this movie's really set up. And uh, so she's next door, and then she has an intercom. It's like a baby monitor where she can come across and stuff and talk to him and, and give him his meds and help him with stuff and stuff so but his life was that's what he did him and his wife they traveled and they got all these artifacts and they went to these remote jungles and they brought back all this stuff so the little kid sneaks in and takes one of his figures and then the little boy is helped take care of little sister so there's friction between the mom and the little and the little and the son and the daughter's just young so she's just like you know, just a little girl. But then she sees the spider, but nobody takes her serious. And then finally, uh, this spider ends up killing that guy that that woman was taking care of because they had a fallen out. So she, she, he more or less told her to, you know, she was kind of fired. But, but before she could, before she could get ready to pack up and leave, he gets killed by that spider. So then she has to call the sheriff. The sheriff comes in and then it was kind of horrifying how the spider killed this thing. This this person that she was taking care of. And then it just went off from there. So then they're, uh, they're trying to deal with, you know, she's trying to tell her to, you know, the, but the boy, I think he can't be no older than 12. He's trying to tell her it's a spider killed that guy. And, and, and he was telling that in front of his mom while there's at the dinner table and the little girl was freaking out. And she said, see what you did? He goes, that's your problem. You don't believe me. So there was tension between this little boy because this family had went through a tragedy because they lost their younger brother. You know, so there was three of them all together, but then there's only two. So, 
I think that the little boy that they lost was a toddler. So you have a little girl that was like maybe six. So that little toddler would probably would have been like maybe three years old if he had lived. So, you know, they're all dealing with this. And then they got to have this battle with this spider. And uh, they did a good job with this spider. I, uh, this movie's, uh, this movie is uh, 95 minutes long. And it came out in, uh, it came out in 2019. But it's actually sitting at a, it's sitting at a Rotten Tomatoes of 64. So, uh, at first I didn't think I was going to get into this movie. Especially after watching, uh, uh, especially after watching, uh, you know, that one movie that I, I had, I had told you guys about that I watched. I even, I like that Spider movie so much that I just, uh, I decided I, I was going to get that on, on, uh, you know, DVD. That's how much I like that Spider because, uh. How much, that's how much I like that Spider movie that I talked about pri uh, previously. Uh, so, uh, I gotta get me a new remote because this remote is just acting up. It just will not act right. But anyway, I can't think of that Spider movie that I was, that I watched, but it, it just, uh, anyway, I can't think of that Spider movie. This remote's messed up. I'll buy me a new one. But, uh, I forgot the name. Oh, it was called Sting. Yeah, I'm going to get me a new remote. This thing is really irritating me. But uh, every time I get in front of this camera, it's either this remote uh, messes up. I can't. Uh, but anyway, it's called Sting. That's the Spider movie that I was talking about earlier. Um, it it It's really a... Sting was really good, too. Uh, I... This is... I like this movie. I really did. I don't know if it's good as Sting, but I wanted to see that one before uh, I actually seen Itsy Bitsy. But I wanted to see Itsy Bitsy. Uh, but when I watched the Sting, I was so impressed with it that I was like, "Wow, this is this is this is a pretty good movie." You know what I'm saying to myself? So I'm like. Um, I need to check out Itsy Bitsy because I had told this guy at work that I was, uh, you know, really into uh, that Sting movie. Yeah, it was called Sting. I got it right here. So anyway, it's called Sting. This remote, I'm getting rid of it. But uh, it's called Sting and I, I got, I ordered that one. That's how much I like it. So I like my spider movies, but yeah, uh, Itsy Bitsy. It was a pretty good movie overall, and uh, I watched it yesterday. And it's it's not it's it's not on Sting level, but it it it's pretty good. And uh, I I I like my Spider movies. So anyway, that's my little quick. So anyway, if you get a chance to watch Itsy Bitsy, I don't think it's it's not as good as Sting to me. But it's still an isolated type of movie where, you know, Sting you was in this in Sting. You was in this apartment building, and this spider was running around the air ducts and stuff. Itsy Bitsy, the spider is running around a little, uh, from kind of like outside, from house to house, up in the attic. He goes from this house to this house, because both those houses are kind of close. The old man that needed that woman to take care of him, he lived in this house, and he had a spare house that was over here. So this house, this spider went back and forth. And he killed the spider, killed stuff outside. He killed a cat upstairs in the basement. He, he was killing stuff, and then he was trying to kill people. And it had something to do with some spiritual thing that was sacrificed in this vase. That was brought from the jungles to the United States. And this guy, he collected artifacts. So that's the best way I can put it. God bless. Take care, and we'll catch you next video. We'll see you.